It's 24 past six now, and I'm Melanie Groves. You are listening to The Rural Report. You're listening to your local Rural Report on radio, online and on your mobile. Now, a few bees down the paddock might be a good thing for pollination and things like that, but what about a swarm of 50,000 bees encamped near your workers? Well, that's exactly what happened at a mine near Clermont who put the call out to apiarists to come and help. Ken Murray from Gumby Gumby Farms went to the Copperbella mine to shift the bee swarm to a safer location using a unique homemade method. I asked him how you normally go about moving bee swarms. Yeah, there's different, different situations. That bee swarms can be high up in a tree or it can be low to the ground or they can actually be actually inside a tree. So there's all these different situations. In this case, the bees were swarming. About 50,000 bees were swarming on a pallet in a, an area close to where the miners were working. So it was a bit of a danger to them. And also a danger to the bees, and and uh, very thoughtfully, they instead of just going there and poisoning them, Mark phoned up and said, "Well, uh, is there anyone that could possibly come and take them away?" So, how exactly do you move them? Well, there's different ways. Uh, ideally, you can just put uh, an empty hive box with what we call foundation frames. They're frames with some wax sheets in them already for them to, to invite them there, and uh, you can just shake the branch or where they are and they'll just naturally fall in quite comfortably into the box. The bees tend to be surrounding the queen bee while the scouts are out trying to find a suitable place for them to make their home. So while the scouts are out doing that, you can um, easily just shake them into the box. Or in my case, I've developed a a bee vacuum and I just um, vacuum them in nice and gently into the box so I'm able to collect all of the bees and even some of the ones that are flying around. So a bee vacuum, talk me through that, Ken. How exactly do you make a bee vacuum that sucks them up without actually hurting them? Well, I, I modified an old Triton dust bucket collector. This is the sort of bucket that's used if someone's working in a workbench and they want to um, vacuum off the dust so they don't want to get dust up their nose. They might be working on something like um, bloodwood or something like that where you don't want to get the dust up your nose. So it's... Um, It's a commercial bucket and it has a number of entry holes into it and you have a tube going in where you can plug in a vacuum cleaner so it can suck the air out of the bucket and then you have another couple of holes where one hole will be where the the longer tube is, your vacuum tube for catching the bees is and another little hole has a, a vent on it so that you can adjust that vent to the amount of suction that you want so that you don't suck them in too hard, you just suck the bees in nice and gently into the bucket. And so once you've managed to safely suck all those bees into the bucket, getting that swarm, you know, away from people who are in the region, what do you do with them next? I understand you have a property. Are they likely to stay, stick around? What do you do? Yes, well, an ideal situation is because bees can fly up to five kilometres back to where they were Warming, an ideal is to take them further than that. In this case, of course, Copper Bell was a long way from Clermont. So we were able to take them comfortably in the bucket where they had plenty of ventilation through the ventilation holes in the bucket. So they're very comfortable. And then we were able to take them back to our Gumby Gumby farm. And we also have another property called Bee Ranch, which is 165 acres of dedicated preserved native forest, where we also have another part of our apiary and that's just dedicated um, for bees as well. But in this case, we took them back to our Gumby Gumby farm where we grow our Gumby Gumby trees and uh, settled them there. And, and uh, I checked with them that night and also the next morning, and they're very happy. That's fantastic to hear. That's beekeeper Ken Murray from Gumby Gumby Farms. I do like the idea of a, a bee vacuum. That sounds fantastic in my book. And that is all we have time for this morning on The Rural Report. Thanks so much for your company. It's 6.30 and time for the news.